Hello, hi, hi, how are ya? So in today's video, I wanna show you guys every single thing that I eat. And I'm putting off track in this title because I'm not on track. <laughs> I'm definitely not on track, but I'm not like spiraling. The last few days has been a lot better with my food intake. But this is the heartbreak diet, folks. And I'm just like, I don't know. Everything feels 1D. Nothing feels important. I have multiple breakdowns throughout the day. I just kind of am going through it right now. I love watching what I ate today videos, whether it's like an on track, off track. Um, there's a lot of like, it's like a TikTok trend. It's also here on YouTube. Like everything I ate today as a plus size person or everything I ate today as a morbidly obese person or everything I ate today as a fat person. And this is kind of like everything I ate today on the heartbreak diet. <laughs> so. I just want to do a disclaimer. It's obvious I am super morbidly obese. It's obvious that I should be eating healthier. I should probably be eating less. I don't want any advice. I don't need advice. I don't need doctors. I don't need anything like that. Everything that could be possibly said to me right now is already obvious, so don't waste your breath. And I mean that in like the kindest, sincerest part of my heart. So, all right, let's get this what I ate today going. Hello. So I finally ate something. <laughs> it was literally just two of these. They're like these little assorted fruit packs where it's just a serving. Um, it's Mott's assorted fruit. One is never enough. Kind of like a Lay's potato chip. You can never just have one. That's how I feel about these little guys. They're so good. So I had two of those. All right, so my first official meal. I am having some chicken from a rotisserie chicken and some stuffing that I made literally just out of the box, which I love this stuffing. It's like my fave. It kind of reminds me of like Thanksgiving. And I was just like, I'm craving it, so I'm gonna have it. Mm -hmm. So good. And then this is just um, like a lemon pepper. Rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm starving. <laughs> Alrighty, so I finished my chicken and stuffing, which was delicious. And while I was eating, I ordered a drink from Chick-fil-A. I got a Diet Coke. Ugh. Caffeine is like... My, my coffee for someone else like who drinks coffee for that like energy I feel like that's what I do with this damn Diet Coke and I always get extra ice I hate when drinks don't have enough ice like I would rather have way more ice than soda that's just like how I am and then I also got one more thing from Chick-fil-A I got a cookie because I wanted something sweet so I got me a little cookie moment they make it out of like oats. It's like chocolate chip, but it's like they make it out of oats. All right, let's try a bite. Mmm, warm and fresh. That's good. Yes, it is. Okay, so among this being a what I ate today video, I still want it to be like vlog form. And I definitely need to talk about this because this is very important to me because I'm like, what is happening, ma'am? So if you guys remember this clip, which I'm gonna show right here from uh, like a couple of vlogs ago. Do y'all ever just toxic gossip train? Toxic gossip train. 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 So that is like a lyric from Colleen's apology, <laughs> or lack thereof, let's be real. And when I filmed that clip, I had just got done watching H3, who had a whole freaking band come and do a cover of Colleen's wannabe apology, more so like a gaslighting song, let's be real, a manipulation song, let's be real, lack of accountability, let's be real. So the H3 podcast had a whole band come and sing that song and it was stuck in my head like massively stuck in my head 
So then I heard like on the H3 that so many people are like doing covers of the song and I'm like, what? So I went down a rabbit hole and I was like, damn, people are actually covering the song, whether it's on TikTok or YouTube, people are just like making it their own. Even Zach from the H3 podcast did it in like a rock style. And I'm like, that is so weird and random. So by me watching that, I got an earworm. And that is the thing about me that maybe none of you knew because why would I like show that in a vlog when I'm like talking to you guys? But I get earworms hardcore and what an earworm is like where you just have like a part in a song just like constantly and repeatedly stuck in your head and you cannot stop hearing it. And so since I just went down the rabbit hole of like seeing people do the cover of that pathetic freaking song, I could not stop singing toxic gossip train like it was just like in my head it wouldn't go away it was just like all i heard like i'd be flipping through tiktok that's all i saw so uh, there's a lot of people saying that i like support colleen because i was singing that no a lot of people were saying like how could you not stand by essay victims and i'm like ma'am i am an essay victim and i am standing by them i just had an earworm because i kept hearing the song because it's literally everywhere right now i do not support colleen i don't support anything about her what she has done is abuse i just really really had to make that clear um because if people think that me putting that clip um means that i'm supporting her in any way that means anyone who has ever done a cover or mention that song or anything that means that they support Colleen and I can tell you right now I don't think anyone supports her I think that people just think her song is pathetic and people are making parodies of it and it's unfortunate that I'm having an earworm moment with that damn song but it's just like I could not get it out of my head that whole day and now that I'm talking about it again it's probably gonna happen again today which is unfortunate. I was getting so many um, Instagram DMs because I was just in my Instagram right now. I'm checking it on my laptop and I was like, do people seriously think this way? Like, no. Hi, hello, hi. So with all that ice, I mean, a lot of it has melted. Um, I like to be able to take one of my <laughs> diet Pepsis and then pour it in here. So it's like I get two fountain drinks for the price of one. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm actually, the slots. I'm actually about to pack some of my purses. I'm the biggest procrastinator ever, so you're gonna see me packing for the next few months, so. I knew this was gonna happen. Riddles, this isn't for you. I'm sorry. So, my purses are still in the bathroom, so let me get those. Okay. So I'm gonna put the flatter ones on the bottom so like my duffel bags are gonna go down there my Telfar purse this guy and then I'm gonna put this one with my wallets in it like that so it'll keep the shape the best that I can Rebecca Minkoff Kate Spade my cores I want this to keep is shape as well. So I'm gonna put my guest purse in there. And then this guy. All right, so we also have that, that, and that. I also have a couple other purses uh, just around the apartment. So I'll get to those when I can, but here we go, folks. First box is boxed. Well, first box is packed, but... Rarity, are you excited to move? She just likes boxes. Okay, you guys, so I have a new wannabe Lego update. This is actually a retro coffee maker. This one was so fun to make. So it is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's so cool because there's this little device right here that actually makes the little coffee machine work and go in circles. 
I thought that was so cute. This was only about a little under 500 pieces. Okay, you guys, so it's been some time. And as you guys know, I went to Trader Joe's and I got some of these. Chicken cilantro mini wonton. Four pieces is 50 calories. That's it, literally. So let's make some. I'm gonna do it in the air fryer and then we can do like a taste test because they're so low calorie and even like the sodium is low, the carbs is pretty decent, like lower than usual things like this, like wontons. Um, fat is super low, cholesterol's low. Like I just feel like everything is so good in this. So if these taste good, your girl's gonna be eating them. Okay, so while the wontons are in the air fryer, I'm gonna make like a little sauce moment. So first thing I'm gonna do is some soy sauce, some sriracha. So I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of raw honey. I mean, like literally smaller than a dime. Also gonna add some sesame seeds. And then I'm gonna stir it. Okay, so this is about complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these fellas in here and then mix it all around. So I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I mix them and now they're all sauced up. Let's do a taste test. I do feel like that's like juicy. I didn't need that much sauce, but. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, that's good. And this is so low calorie, it's insane. And the sodium literally from my sauce. <laughs> yeah, I just had to show you guys that like, that's how much sauce I will not be using. But Feline is about to um, have some like egg rolls. So she said that she's gonna use the rest of this. So it's not gonna go to waste. Okay, you guys. So got some McDonald's. Yes, I did. So first thing I got is one of their medium blue raspberry like slushies, ices. I'm addicted. Yes, I am. Mm. There's the spot. And then I got two cheeseburgers and that's literally it. But I wanna show you guys how I get them. No pickle, no mustard, no ketchup. The only thing I want is cheese and onion. So what I do is, <laughs> don't come for me, okay? I take off one of the breads, throw it away, and eat it like that. <laughs> it's so good. So I'm gonna go eat them. I'm gonna watch some Married at First Sight while I eat. All right, you guys, we're in the closet, so that means it is time for closet clean out. So here we have a black dress with like a maroon sleeves, and honestly, this is just super comfy, so I'm keeping it. So this is a beautiful dress. Like, I love the colors, but there's like a million different layers, and it's floofy it has like this floofy layer and i'm just like not into that it was super expensive which is unfortunate but i just i don't like it so i'm gonna get rid of it so this is a beautiful yellow dress um it is betsy johnson i have worn it one time and when i did i got so many compliments it shows a lot of titty though <laughs> so that's why I haven't uh, worn it again but I will wear it again I love me a cleavage moment here and there so I'm gonna be keeping it so this is a mustard yellow cardigan not really filling it so I'm gonna get rid of it so this is a beautiful green sweater that I've had for a hot minute but I'm gonna keep it because I love it so this is a t-shirt that has a lot of lace I don't know if you guys can tell this lighting is a uh, pretty great ain't it, folks there we go so there's lace that goes down into a V. We have lace on the sleeves. And I personally like it, so I'm gonna keep it. All right, so I think I'm done with that. I just like to do a few things. <laughs> I just like to do a few at a time because it's like, I am getting rid of so many clothes and it just makes me really sad. But it's also like kinda, I don't know, it feels good. 
feels like a weight's off my shoulders because I do want to like downsize so much. Okay you guys, so I was waiting till like the super end of the night um, before I went to sleep to end my vlog because I wasn't sure if I was going to eat anything else for the rest of the night, which I'm not. I'm probably just going to have like a diet Pepsi caffeine free. I usually have one before I go to bed. But yeah, that was everything I ate today. Um, how I'm feeling emotionally, like I was pretty good all day long. And it wasn't until Feline went to sleep, I just started bawling my eyes out. I don't know what it is. It's just really hurting. Um, I feel like I'm losing my world. <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but I don't feel like crying right now because I already did that. So I'm just gonna hurry up and end this vlog. I hope that you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.